everybody. Hope you are having a wonderful day and we are here at a place called Megiddo, Tell Megiddo. Uh, the old ruins that are across here as they've been digging down now for several years, finding all kinds of things. And uh, this is an area where Solomon had his stables. This is an area right in here where Josiah uh, was uh, killed in battle. And so a lot of things happen here. So this is Megiddo. Behind me is the Valley of Jezreel. Now the Valley of Jezreel had so many things that took place in there. Gideon fought with the Midianites, got the men ready. Uh, Deborah and Barak went against Sisera. So, I mean, there's just multiple things. But the Valley of Jezreel was kind of one of the world's natural battlefields. Uh, so many that have marched through here, great battles of the past. But today, what we reflected on is the battle, Armageddon. And that's where we get that word Megiddo from comes from Armageddon. You read about that in Revelation 16 and 19. So this valley behind me is that valley of Jezreel where the battle of Armageddon will take place. And then we know and we'll see going into there the millennial reign of the Lord Jesus Christ. And how wonderful just to know that he is in charge and that we win with him. And I got a familiar face to some of you here today with me. This is Pastor Troy Masterson and uh, we love Brother Masterson. We're thankful for him. Pastor now, of course, Tri-State Baptist Church up in Connecticut. Uh, Brother Masterson, what do you think? What do you love being up here about? Uh, well, it was awesome to sit and hear the words uh, from Scripture about the Battle of Armageddon. And as I look out across the Jezreel Valley, I can't help but be struck with the uh, life that's there. Uh, there's fertile crops across the entire thing. It's well watered. It's ideal um, for a country's agriculture. And I just kept thinking about the life in contrast with the death that will be brought to this valley. Um, and, and the result, the, the only thing that, that kept coming to my mind that is the difference between life and death is the Word of God. And what brings that death is, is Jesus Christ as He speaks the Word against all mankind who have rebelled against Him. And I couldn't help but think spiritually how that is true even today of those who reject the Word of God or accept and believe the Word of God mm -hmm. and how that is the difference uh, of salvation even. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God and uh, I just keep seeing that from Genesis to Revelation, the emphasis on God's Word and, and we see it realized here in this valley and it really is something even behind us. You see two uh, mountains side by side one on which Saul um, inquired of the spirit of Samuel about a battle he was about to go to, and the next mountain over is the battle where he would be killed. And so it's, it's quite something to be in the place where those stories happened and to see it come to life in this way is truly um, a good experience mm -hmm. and something that will impact me personally, uh, specifically though on the emphasis of the Word of God and how um, that is the uh, anchor upon which uh, our faith is uh, tethered to. Absolutely. Multiple events that have happened here and it really is life changing. So let me give you this today, all right? If you got some time, get in Revelation 16, it'll mention a, a portion in there about the Battle of Armageddon, mention it specifically. Then you get to chapter 19, you can read more of the details. And when you're in that chapter 19, as we just pointed out here to everybody that was here, mark those names of the Lord Jesus Christ. See him called faithful, true, King of kings, Lord of lords. We sang victory in Jesus when we were done here. So you may want to just have a little verse of that yourself because I'm going to tell you, when you know Christ, your personal Savior, you are on the winning side. Amen. And we praise the Lord for that. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Master. I had Thank a good you. time with you so Appreciate far. It. And so I said far. so far, but it keep, it'll keep going. <laughs> All right. Listen, everybody have a wonderful right. day. We'll be sure to give you something later. God Amen. bless you. God bless you.